Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome to another video. A little bit of a heart to heart kind of thing going on right now. All while you watch a wonderful KSP craft that I've been working on that is an ultimate, well, it just it fucking fails, man. It fails, it's a failure, it's a failure. But that's okay because just like life, when you fail, you learn and you stand up and you keep going and you're stronger for it. As some of you may have already or may know already depending on you know where you heard it from i have a new job now i'm not going to go into any details about this new job but i can tell you that it is exceedingly harder than my previous job it deals with a plethora of different types of legal things as well as engineering and building things. I can't tell you what it is right now, but I can tell you that never in my life have I been overwhelmed on a cerebral level such as I am now. The hours are much longer and there are nighttime hours as well. It's still within my realm of what I'm used to. Being a heavy equipment operator, I have knowledge and experience behind everything from bulldozers to excavators to rollers graders sand spreaders plows tandem single axles and of course the dreaded low boy to name just a few I have done everything from building concrete structures to repaving and reconstructing roads to regrading and repairing government dishes dishes what <laughs> Government dishes. They're like China, only government. Government storm ditches next to highways. Now some of you already know who I work for. Let's just say they're a very big statewide company or corporation. I don't know. But with this new leap, I come home late every day and I work on weekends and it's a lot. I am still committed to this channel and I'm trying to make it fun and engaging. KSP has taken a fairly large hit, especially with KSP2 being cancelled. You still have a lot of people out there who believe in deep down in their heart that it's not canceled that there's still life and hope but for 99% of everybody out there they see the truth of the matter and it is pretty much dead even though KSP 2 took a huge hit KSP 1 is still alive and thriving I think although KSP 2 didn't do it any favors with mods KSP 1 is in my opinion more beautiful than KSP 2 more practical in some ways and even way more playable so why have I been talking about my my job and the increased hours and the overwhelming experience that I'm going through right now on top of uh, talking about the channel and KSP is because the two are very closely uh, combined when it comes to time. As soon as I come home, I jump on the computer and I try to make something in order to meet the two video minimum requirement per week in order to appease YouTube algorithm. Now I realize that there's a lot of people out there who support me and they're like, take your time, Veos. Don't get yourself sick or hurt your in real life circumstances just for the channel we can wait and for those who say that i love you guys to death you're all of you are amazing but just know that i really do want this channel to grow and so i'm willing to put in the time effort and energy and sacrifice to stay on the algorithm in order to have more discovery i guess you can call it when it comes to the algorithm working for me i'm pretty sure that if there was some magical button where I could suddenly become present in everybody's YouTube feed around the world, even if only for a few minutes, I would probably grow very quickly. But that's the algorithm for you. It picks and chooses according to how much time and effort and energy and how much watch hours people are actually watching the videos for. So a two video minimum per week helps grow. It's not fast, but it does. it's not slow either. It's, it's at an okay pace. What also helps in channel growth are posts community posts i've made it my mission to always have a community post at least five times a week so right now the schedule is kind of like a video or stream on saturday usually in the morning times eastern standard i live in virginia so that time frame right there and then sunday is a community post monday community post tuesday community post wednesday morning another video thursday community post friday community post and of course rinse and repeat saturday video or stream now when it comes to 
to the community posts, I try to make it engaging. I want people to be able to see it, communicate, comment, view it, like it, or whatever the case may be, in order to get that precious algorithm interaction. So I'll do one or two things. I'll either ask questions with polls, with pictures, of course, because everybody loves pictures, including moi, or I'll show pictures of what I'm working on or what I used to work on years ago, something of that nature. Now, granted, I can't do this all the time. I can't build a craft and then post about it because building crafts, as we all know in KSP, takes a while. It might take a few days, and so I can't just pop out a picture of a craft every day that I've built because I don't have that kind of time. So instead, for a community post, I came up with the idea of playing a type of game. A game where I give the audience options and according to the most voted action to those options will produce the outcome of the next community post. Community posts I can make very quickly, 10-15 minutes max. Write down the next story, the next options to go by, and then using 3D paint can whip up a few pictures. They don't have to be detailed or anything, they just have to show an action or a location or whatever. So right now I'm kind of testing this idea out and I've gotten an overwhelming positive response from it. Now, yes, there are a few people who are angry with me who would rather see other content, but the fact that the majority of people here are enjoying this kind of community posts makes me very happy to see this because it, it's not only fun to do, but it's also easy to make and it's engaging. Now, this first story, I can't of course, I can't tell you what's going on, but we've only barely scratched the surface. It's kind of a survival story. The idea is, is that whether you are working or you're going to school, one night you go to bed and then boom, you wake up and you're in this predicament. You don't know what's going on. You don't know where you are. What do you do? Come to think of it, I think I would have been a good dungeon master in some sort of Dungeons and Dragons game. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that for a little while and see how it goes. If everyone starts losing interest in it, then of course I'll back away from it. And I'll have to figure something else out. But that's where I'm at right now. As a lot of people know and understand, even with everyone's love and support, this channel really doesn't make much money. So it's not like I can just stop what I'm doing in real life and live off of what the channel's making, because if I did, I'd probably be able to afford two Happy Meals and a Coke every month. <laughs> not to mention the rent and the car payments and everything else. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> at least I'm still eating, right? Yeah, on the side of the street, under an umbrella. So obviously real life takes absolute precedence and it will interfere with the channel at some times. As of right now, I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna stream again Saturday morning. Not Saturday evening or night, because I did that last week and only 40 people showed up. Lovely, beautiful, wonderful 40 people. But it was definitely a small crowd compared to what I'm used to. But anyway, before I end this video, I'm definitely not liking this specific type of craft. We're dealing with KSP physics here, so flimsiness is to be expected. It. Even with all the auto struts on, even with all that other stuff, with the servos locked and everything else, it's still wobbly. And I know why. I've been playing this game long enough to understand how the physics works in the game. It's the part where the actual spinning happens. It's just simply not strong enough. And so the motion of the actual spinning movement throws off everything else. Even if I was to have a reverse torque or another gravity ring spin the other way, you'd still have the same problem. It's the servo that's inside that's spinning. Unfortunately, it does have a little bit of a wobble to it, even if you make rigid attachment activated. I mean, I could go in there and try to strut the hell out of it. And that might work, I don't know. But at this point, it's probably easier just to make something that is extremely more simplified. The more complex a build, the more crackeny it can become. The more simplified a build, the more stable it can become. So I think I'm going to go with that. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that, but I wanted to keep the same spirit of the vehicle. Have some sort of gravity capability, long range with shuttles attached to it. In some kind of sense, be able to aero break around a planet with an atmosphere, all that jazz. Maybe I'll go ahead and do the whole nuclear thing and just make a whole bunch of fuel tanks with liquid fuel instead of one big giant one in order to lower down part count. That's what I was trying to do, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Plus, I just really like those old style interplanetary spacecraft that were used 
using things like, you know, just big ol' engines and rocket fuel and all that stuff. Yeah, I could go for nuclear power. Yeah, I could go for warp drive. Yeah, I could go for antimatter. Sure, sure, sure. Who knows? We'll see. I might come up with something. Go full nuke. I mean, I've built working Orion drives before using the Starshot. Those videos are buried within all the other videos that I have, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's what's going on right now. More than likely, we're going to have a stream Saturday, since I don't think I'll have time to make an actual video. If I can work on this craft more, then the stream will be something about going to Duna and landing and coming back. Simple mission, but fun. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like, and if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification for me if you want to be notified of any videos that I put out. So until then, love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Or video. Episode of what? I don't know. Bye-bye.